I think like most families, the decision for us, for Thomas to move to the Boston home, I, I was about to say for us as a family, but of course that's not fair to him. He was courageous and heroic. It was of course excruciating. He, had the, he did have the progressive version. He was home for 14 years with the disease. We had five people working for us, a hospital bed, a Hoyer lift, and it was his primary care physician who finally sort of sat us down and said, if you keep this up, and he looked right at Thomas, he said, I don't think you're going to live more than a year. And that made a big impression. And then um, at about that time, we heard about the Boston home and we visited. And we were both really impressed, but we were also both very nervous. And pretty soon after that, Thomas's parents came to visit and we all went back to visit. And my father-in-law oh. looked at Thomas and he said, that place is amazing. He said, I think this is what you need to do. And within a couple of weeks, we could look back on Thomas's first week at the Boston home and we compared it to the scene in The Wizard of Oz where the scarecrow, and the Tin Man and the Lion and Dorothy all get to, to the Emerald City and they all get like rebuilt. Yeah. It's like we got to the Boston home and Dave Hatch was Thomas's mentor and he greeted us at the door and uh, Faith, who immediately like swooped him up to fix his wheelchair. And then it was sort of like there was a whole regimen. And, and by the end of the first week, he was so much better uh, it, that even he, even he noticed as hard as it was for him to be away from us but it was better. It was much, much better for everybody. And Thomas lived not six months or a year, but five years. And um, we did get him to Anna's high school graduation, which was, again, heroic, all hands on deck kind of thing.